channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my top five favorite luxury bags. Like these are the bags in my collection that I am just absolutely in love with and I wanted to share them with you guys today. And I'm so excited because today's video is in collaboration with another YouTuber here. Her name is Saki. She is super girly, super sweet, and loves all things pink. So if you guys are into luxury goods, you love pink, I would highly recommend checking her channel out. She is just the sweetest, and she is gonna be doing a video as well on her top five luxury handbags. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and if you want to hear what my top five favorite luxury handbags are, then keep watching. Okay, so these bags are in no particular order. I just couldn't rank them. It was so hard because they are all my favorite in so many different ways. But the first bag that I want to mention to you guys is my YSL envelope bag. I love this bag. It is so incredibly beautiful and I was so thrilled to get it. I just love it so much. I love the way that it looks. It has the really, really durable leather. It's the matte lace leather. Um, it has the beautiful YSL logo. I think YSL is probably one of my favorite fashion houses. I just love the logo and their bags are just so beautiful and chic and elegant. But again, this is the envelope bag. It it has the quilted leather. I love, oh, and this is in the large size, by the way. I love the fact that it has a pocket. You guys know how much I love my pockets. It's just really, really easy to store your phone. So you can see it's a pretty sizable pocket. The one main thing I love about the YSL bags is just the durability, especially in this leather. When you open it up, it's just one large compartment, so you can fit quite a bit. It also has a little zipper here, and that's where I keep the authenticity card. But I love this bag so much that I'm actually considering getting this in the nude shade. Now, I do have to say, YSL has some of the best nude shades, but I don't want the, like, the orangey beige shade. I want more of the lighter nude and I'll try to find a picture and insert it. I just think that looks so beautiful, but I wear this bag to work. I definitely feel as though this is more of a dressy bag. So if you're someone who is like super, super casual, I don't know if you're going to like this, but if you're someone who likes to dress up, I'd recommend it. And that's one of the reasons I was on the fence between this one and the college bag. When I had gotten it the first time, I realized that oh, I really, I mean, I guess I could wear it on the weekends, but it's definitely more of a dressy bag. So then I thought, well, let me get the college bag. Then I got the college bag and I was thinking about this one, but there's no substitute with how beautiful this bag is. How chic is that? And I love how much you can fit. The beautiful thing about this bag is you can wear it on the shoulder or you can extend it. You can wear it as a crossbody, but because of the size, it looks a little awkward. So I would recommend either wearing it as a double shoulder bag or a long shoulder bag. And I don't know why, but that sound is just so satisfying too. But if you are looking for a really nice dressy bag that is very durable, so you can kind of throw it around, you don't have to worry about wear and tear, it has the pocket, it does not have feet, but I've had this bag for quite some time and it still looks brand new. So like I said, I love this so much that I'm probably gonna get a second color. That's how you know when you really love a bag is when you wanna get the same bag in a different color. So that is number one. All right, this next bag is gonna come as no surprise to you. You know it's one of my favorites. Now, do I wear it as much as I would love? No, I probably don't, but it is still one of my favorite bags, and whenever I see it in my closet, it just, oh, it gives me the warm and fuzzies. I just love it. And I am talking about my Chanel medium classic flap in the lambskin. You guys, this is one of the most classic, timeless, handbags. The beautiful thing about this, it's never ever going to go out of style. And if you guys might have, if you guys saw my recent video, it was like most iconic handbags. This one is definitely included because even though it's, a, it's an investment piece, um, it's never going to go out of style. It's so beautiful. Again, I have the medium size. I purchased this almost 10 years ago. And ever since then, um, the price has really gone up. Like I, th I want to say I got this um, for don't quote me on, I think it was around 4,400 or 4,600, and now I think this bag is close to 6,000. So the price increases on the Chanel bags are absolutely insane, but I would not trade this bag for anything. I absolutely love it. So 
Again, I have it in the lambskin. Now, I will say I was torn as to whether or not the ca to get the caviar or the lambskin because the lambskin is very delicate. You have to be very careful. I already have a couple scratches. If you're looking to get this bag and you want to use it like as an everyday bag, I would highly recommend getting the caviar leather because the caviar leather is a little more durable. It's not going to show as much wear and tear. I do have my wallet on a chain by Chanel in the caviar leather and it is held up really nicely, but it was something about the lambskin that just drew me to this bag I feel like it's just so classic so I got it with the silver hardware but it also comes in gold but I just really wanted silver you have this beautiful chain with the leather going through it the turn lock closure oh my gosh is there anything better on a handbag than this turn lock closure it's just so beautiful so mine is the double flap and it has the Chanel logo there, and then you can see the beautiful burgundy interior. It has a flap on the front, and then there are two slots here, and then there's a little lipstick case. Now, I do have a little bit of wear and tear here. There is a little bit of wear on the corners, and unfortunately, if you invest in a lambskin bag, that's just what's gonna happen, um, but I love it. I always wear it for special occasions. It's so beautiful. This bag, you can wear it as a long shoulder. You can wear it as a short shoulder. Um, I've seen people wear it as a crossbody, but it's going to fall really short if you do wear it as a crossbody, but it is just so beautiful. Absolutely love this bag. Love it so much. One of my favorites. Okay, guys, the next bag I want to mention is going to come as no surprise to you guys if you're very familiar with my channel because you know my obsession with this bag. So much so that I bought and in a different color. And the bag I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record when it comes to this bag, so if you've seen a lot of my videos in the past, you're just gonna have to excuse me because I'm gonna have to gloat once again about this bag, about how much I love it. I think the majority of people love it. There are some people that aren't a huge fan, but I just love this so much and I found I just wear it so much. It's so functional. First off, I have it in the Empron leather. This bag has held up so well and I really, really love this leather because it's durable, but it's also a little stretchy too. Once again, you guys know I'm such a fan of back pockets. I love this. This is where I always put my phone, so I usually wear it as a crossbody bag. It has this clasp closure you open it and then I have let me take the dust bag out okay you can see the inside of the bag it has compartment in the back and then two sizable compartments but the beauty of this because it has this accordion style opening it really really stretches so you can fit so much if you guys are curious I've done what's in my bags I've done comparison videos I've done all kinds of videos on this bag I also love love the fact that it has a top handle so you can wear it as a briefcase. It also has, here is the strap. The strap is adjustable and it has seven holes and I just love this. I'm a big fan of bags that have adjustable straps because no two people are alike. And because of the square, like flat shape of the bag, when you wear it as a crossbody, it doesn't get in the way. You know how sometimes when you wear bags as crossbodies, it can kind of like, you can like kind of tell it's there. Not this one, I just feel it's very comfortable. So let me see if I can just show you really quick. Okay, so you see how like it just fits me right there. It, I don't feel like, you know, my arms get in the way. It's just super, super comfortable. But like I said, I loved this so much that I hunted for the monogram. I remember um, texting with my essay um, at my sales associate at Louis Vuitton and I was just like, any chance you're able to find me the Pichette Matisse in the monogram and she searched and searched and sure enough she had one that popped up it had been reserved for somebody else but for some reason they changed their mind I don't know if they were able to get it someplace else or what but I'm so happy now I will caveat this so this is the canvas the other one is the Empron um, between these two I definitely gravitate more towards the Empron leather but this one is absolutely beautiful too again back pocket clasp now, the only thing I do have to say, I am not a huge, huge fan of 
Vaquetta. You have to be so careful with it. I art, it's going to be hard to pick up on camera, but I already have a couple marks on here. I think I was using hand sanitizer and then I touched the bag and that's a big no-no. Um, you'll see a lot of times if you buy bags or like if you read the description on Louis Vuitton, it'll say, you know, don't put sanitizer in the bag and you've got to be careful. Some people like that discoloration. I don't, you can see, and it also has some little like watermarks. So that's the only thing I'm not really a fan of. And then right here, there are some little marks too. But other than that, this bag is just so great. You can wear it casual. You can wear it to work. You can fit the whole kitchen sink in here. It's great. So I love this bag, which is why it's definitely on my top five favorites. Okay, another bag I want to mention, and I don't know if, I, if you guys have seen this one on me in a while in pictures, but it's still one of my favorite bags. And you might have recalled I did a comparison video for this a couple years ago um, between this bag and the Gucci Soho Disco bag. But I'm talking about this is the YSL camera bag. You guys know how much I love YSL bags. I love this one. This is just such a great bag. First off, it's not the same durable leather as envelope bag like you can see this is like a pebbled hard leather and this one is a little it's the chevron and it's a little softer however i have had this a few years and look how great it has held up you can see the bottom um you can see there's like not really any tarnishing on the ysl logo but i love this i just think it's so beautiful i feel as though it's priced relatively well for how much I use this bag. I remember when I first got it, I used it so much. Now, I don't know that I use it as much anymore because I definitely try to share the love across all my bags, but I love this. So this bag comes with a little tassel, which you can remove if you don't like, and it says, um, it says Saint Laurent Paris. I don't know if that's gonna pick up right there. It also has an adjustable strap with seven holes. Once again, because of the shape, it's flat and it's kind of thinner, very like comfortable to wear. It doesn't get in the way, but I feel like it looks so chic. And on the inside, it just has one little compart little pocket here, and it's just one large compartment, but it can fit so much. It's comfortable to wear. Love the adjustable strap, and I just love the look of the bag. Why is so, as I stated before, is just one of my favorite brands. I think I love this bag the most because of the durability of it and how I have worn it a ton in the past. I can fit so much, dress it up, dress it down. Some people do think YSL bags are a little dressier. Like, I definitely feel the envelope bag is super dressy, but this one, um, you can definitely wear it on the weekends and make it a little more casual. But this is a great bag. And as I stated, I did do the comparison between the Gucci Soho Disco bag and I love that bag too. But you'll have to see, you have to watch that video and see which one was my favorite between this one and the Gucci Soho Disco. I'm sure I kind of gave it away in this video, but you'll have to check it out anyway. Okay, I have one more bag to share, and this is the bag I've actually been lugging, lugging around with me, and this is probably the most recent purchase for me out of all the bags I mentioned. I purchased this uh, almost a year ago in Vegas, and I am talking about the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. Oh my gosh, this bag is so cute. First, I love the shape of it. I don't have anything like this whole little bowling ball style. It's just so adorable. Um, it does have a strap. You can wear it as a long shoulder or crossbody. I usually wear it crossbody. The only thing, it is not an adjustable strap. I do wish the strap was adjustable. So that's like the only complaint you're going to hear from me. But it just is a beautiful bag. I actually, let me show you what's in it because um, this is the bag I'm using right now. So right now bag i have my louis vuitton this is my key clip my six ring key holder which i love and i mentioned in the video before i'll put like a paper clip here so that's my so that my fob sticks out and it just makes it like a lot easier to use see so i have my six ring key holder um you can see what i have in there i have my chanel boy coin love this one of my favorite wallets of all time. It is so cute and compact, but look how much it fits. I have some cash over here, ton of cards, and then I always keep this little note from my daughter. Um, she wrote, I love you, mommy, from Skylar, and then she put like a little heart um, 
with an M in it and I just keep that in my wallet just as a reminder and but I just love how many cards you can fit if you don't want to put cards you can put receipts all kinds of stuff you could even fill it up with cards you can put coin but I love this it closes easy and another really cool thing I know this is about handbags but I just have to share some of the things I love do you see how much space there is you see like so the zipper never gets caught when you close it it's just a really really functional wallet so I have that in here and then I also have um, this is my checkbook cover you guys always make fun of me for it but my husband got this for me and um, it's in the damier graphite and I love it love it and then I have a receipt from Dick's Sporting Goods because we went there yesterday um, but I want to show you it is just one large compartment it's a beautiful red interior but this bag fits a ton it really does it's a small bag but it fits so much I usually have a couple other things like I have my mask in there I'll put like some lotion lump some lip gloss but it's so beautiful and I mentioned before that it has this pretty lock um, but I will usually keep the bag open because when I'm wearing it, it's just really easy for me to, it's like easy access for me to get my wallet out so I don't feel like I have to zip it. But let me show you what I'm talking about. What I do is I usually wear it like as a crossbody like this. And because it stays closed, I don't have to worry about like swinging it open and my stuff falling out. But see what I mean? Oh, I'm shopping. I need my wallet. Let me just reach right in. See, it's just really easy, convenient, fits, fits a ton. And it is just such a little cutie patootie. Love it so much. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top five luxury bags. I absolutely love them. Tell me what your favorite, like, favorite of all time bag is down below. I have to know. I have to know what are your favorite bags. Um, also, make sure to check out Saki's channel. Again, she is just such a sweetheart. She has such a pretty uh, like pink aesthetic and she's really into luxury goods as well. So have a good day, you guys. If you like videos like this, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. I would love to have you join my little YouTube family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of outfit posts. And you guys, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm completely redoing my closet. Um, I, I purchased the Ikea pack system. So I finished building it. I put a bunch of stuff in it. However, I do want to decorate little things here and there. And our home goods actually opens up this Monday. So I want to go there. But I plan to do a video from start to finish. So you guys can see what my closet looked like before. And I'll kind of take you through the paint I use. You know, we put, I, I put it together. And then I show you the finished product. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video.